Hi! In this movie, we'll show how to connect SCAD HMI software trace mode to I.O. device using Modbus RTU data exchange protocol via GSM. As a device, we'll use the remote input model M7018 with a K-type semicouple wired to its first input. Uh, the model's address in network is 2. Uh, the measured temperature is read by input register with a starting address, this one. Uh, the correspondence between ADC's code and temperature and degrees centigrade is this one and this one. Codes, degrees. In network, the model is connected to the GSM GPRS modem MOXA. Uh, the settings of the connection are this one. In addition, in a uh, modem profile is written down the following sequence of 80 commands. Also, in modem register S0 is written number 1 on a SIM card with number <laughs> installed in the modem, check off a pin code is removed and data transmission service is activated at the communication service provider. Our PC is connected to GSM GPRS modem Siemens via its serial port COM1 with the following settings. Uh, for the internal SIM card, data transmission service is activated too. How it go is to read real-time data from our model and visualize it on PC. First of all, let's download and install a free SCADA Trace Mode 6 integrated development environment. For that purpose, visit Adaster Research Group website and click on the link SCADA HMI download. Now we load the Free Mode development system and using the icon at the left upper corner we create a new project in style easy. Let's start our project development from the layer sources, receivers, where we describe input register inside Modbus RTU device. Uh, for that, we open the menu using right mouse button and select the group Modbus. In this group, we create a new component R in what? 4. Because uh, we need to use the Modbus command number 4 for reading the input register. Now we can open the created component for editing by double clicking. And we can change the name of this component to TC Sema Couple. In order to fill the top parameters, we must recall our task. Uh, the setting port number is kept by default since the index value for the serial port COM1 is equal to 0. Since the model's address in network is 2, so the setting address should be equal to. Uh, the setting channel uh, the starting address of the input register must be set to 0 because number 3 is the data type identifier and the minor starting address in trace mode is 0. Standard Modbus starting address minus 1. Uh, the setting protocol type 
Matbaas, Direction, Input, Format, Analog. The setting IP address is blank. In order to the data about temperature was uh, requested from the remote device via GSM, in the field command we type its a phone number in the international format of a SIM card inserted to the remote modem. After that we drag and drop this component to the group channels of RTM1 node in a project tree. Now let's open the created tree small channel with the name TC for editing and let's set flag enable in section processing. Uh, in the subsection scaling, let's set the correspondence between ADC's code range and the temperature range. Press the button calculate and look how values for the multiplier and for the offset will fill automatically. Let's adjust recalculation period for this channel as one minute. Since uh, the I.O. model and PC are connected via GSM by means of a serial interface, we need to create a new group Comports. Comports. Open uh, the created port for editing and change the next settings. Assignment. Modem. Exchange rate. Transfer control. Timeout and milliseconds and query delay in milliseconds too. Okay. All other settings will leave set by default. And now let's set a uh, initialization string for the modem connected to our PC. For this purpose, we open node RTM for editing. and type a string to the same field. And type phone number in the this field. Now we'll view the real-time data from our model on operator HMI. Let's open the component screen for editing and insert trace mode logo in the left upper corner. Okay. In order to show a temperature value on our screen, we should drag and drop our channel with the name TC to the argument screen table. Channels, channel with the name TC drag and drop to screen argument table. Uh, the temperature data are situated in the channel attribute real value. Uh, we will visualize the data by means of uh, such graphic elements as gauge and trend. Gauge and trend. In order to link argument and graphic element trend, we should use drag and drop method. And after that, we fulfill the following changes. Time axis 5 minutes and for curve change color thickness and set temperature range for room temperature. Okay. In order to visualize the room temperature on graphic element gauge, we highlight it with the left mouse button and open internal attributes. For internal attribute monitored value, we make link 
to our argument. With the helm drag and drop. Uh, the scale is kept unchanged by default. Now we should save our project on disk with the name MRTU JSM. Then using the icon we compile project for real time monitor. This operation is need in order to run our project in the real time mode under trace mode runtime software real time monitor. In order to run our project we shall use a profiler built in uh, the trace mode development system. For this purpose let's highlight RTM node in project tree and click this icon with the running man. Then click the same icon to run our application. You need to uh, wait any time in order to our modem call remote modem send request and receive answer. OK. Connection command answer. Look, this is room temperature. In order to change current temperature we will touch the semi-couple sensor by fingers and see the change on the graphic screen. Mm -hmm. Hence, in few minutes we have successfully connected Trismol to the I.O. device with Smartbus RTU protocol wire wireless communication and we have built simple HMI on our PC. Now we stop the profiler and finish our movie. Thanks for your attention and bye.